Hi, my name is Iman Farizma and I'm a colon and rectal surgeon at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. I wanted to talk to you about diverticulosis, which is a condition of the colon involving pockets that develop in the colon as we get older. Most everybody gets these pockets, but are they serious? Not often. Occasionally, they can cause things that you may have heard of, diverticulitis or diverticular bleeding. These are two conditions of the colon that can cause patients to seek medical care. Diverticula are simple outpouchings of the colon, most predominantly on the left side of your colon, but it can happen anywhere in your colon. Why do they develop? Well, sometimes they can be hereditary, but a lot of times it's related to your bowel habits. And patients who have more constipation create more pressure inside the lumen of the colon, which creates these outpouchings in the wall of the colon. Are they serious? Well, if you get an infection of one of these diverticula, they can be. It could be as simple as just a minor infection, or it could be a full perforation requiring emergency surgery. Most people, thank goodness, don't suffer from diverticulitis, and most people who have diverticulitis can be treated very effectively with antibiotics, but in certain situations, they may require surgery. We used to say if you got recurrent diverticulitis, you absolutely had to have your colon out. We don't really feel that way anymore. If it's simple diverticulitis, you can manage it with diet, with antibiotics as necessary and live a normal life. Let's put a different situation. You have bad diverticulitis or infections that create an abscess or a pocket or a perforation. Well, those things are more serious and they can be life-threatening and require urgent management and treatment. If you have a lot of pain in your lower abdomen, have fever, you got to get attention and see. Simple visit to the emergency room or even a doctor's office, especially a colon rectal specialist, will help determine what course of action do you need. If you need surgery, well it's a very safe surgery. It can be done robotically, laparoscopically, and even traditionally in an open situation. But the surgery is the same, and the outcome is you almost never have to deal with diverticulitis or an infection again. Again, not everybody needs it. What can I do to prevent diverticulitis? Well, high fiber diet, avoiding constipation. Old school, we used to say avoid nuts and popcorn and seeds. Most of us don't believe in that anymore. I've never taken out a colon and found a kernel of corn stuck in a diverticulum. Keep a healthy, high fiber diet, and hopefully you'll never have to deal with diverticulitis in your life.